Hello guys, so the day this one comes out is actually my birthday. I have three plans for a video and so I'd like to get on the warnings for this. So this story is inspired by a couple of stories, a little bit of Bakugo X listener, and um, warnings for gore, um, rape, horse dating, drugged, murder, manipulation, 18 mature quantity which I will probably leave out of cursing and I and if you don't like pregnancy then don't read the, then don't listen to this I'm going to feel very uncomfortable reading this because it has mature quantity of <laughs> content and I'm afraid I'm going to get demonetized yay but I hope you enjoy this and Happy birthday to me! Yin, you, a Nico with color name cat ears and tail. Your quirk is a cat, but can do better, like Miriam. You can also turn into a cat anytime and doesn't have a limit. In, mi in middle school, you protected a boy around your age. What you didn't know is that it would all go wrong. No one's POV. You know why? Don't you give up. Stop trying to become a hero. You won't make it. As a bully lifted a green-haired boy by the collar of his shirt. Hey, you know if you wanted to be a hero, isn't that what a villain does? Destroying people's dreams and hopes? A girl named Yin and her quirk was something like a cat. Tch. Fuck off. You don't tell me what to do. The boy said, letting the green hair boy down. Now focus on Yin. You heard me, and I will not be leaving. But you should, and if you don't, I will cut you with my claws. Where your dick should be. <laughs> She snapped. Then she pulled out her claws, and the boy had seen them and ran with his tail between his legs. Then the bell rang, which means it was now third period. Time skip after school. Stupid Deku, why the hell should you go to UA? said a spiky haired boy. I. I like he'd. Hill in the entrance exam, said the same boy from the morning. I guess you don't need this anymore, as a spiky hair boy had grabbed a book that had tons of hero information and threw it out the window at Hill. Katsuki, come on, we're going to be late, Yin had said, yelling out for Bakugo. What are you doing, she asked as she saw the three boys with the green-haired boy semi in the corner. Nothing, said Bakugo, just helping him. He continued, I came back for my book. Can you go down and I can meet you there? Ian had asked. Then Bakugo and his two friends walked past her and started to go downstairs. Sorry about him. He's just worried, Izuku. He just doesn't want you getting hurt, or worse, Yin said. No, no, he hates me just because I'm quirkless, the kid named Izuku said. Well, I do believe in you, Yin said, walking out of the room with her book. I'm worried too, but if you don't get into the hero course, try the support course, our business course. I like that would be great. I think that would be great if you don't make the fighting part, but good luck, Izu, said, she said with a wink at the end. Izuku's POV. I love her so much, but she's with Kachan, and I hate that so much. He doesn't deserve her sweetness, but I hope I can make, be her hero someday. Time skip after the slug villain.
No, I don't think you can be a hero without a quirk. You need one to make it as a hero. You can be a police officer, though, even if that don't get paid much. Said the one person I thought would say something to help me. But no, I can't be a hero. Not at all. I had started to walk home when I heard a scream coming from an alleyway. I had, I had ran wanting to try and help her, but I was knocked out. I woke up in somewhat a bar, a small one at that. I saw two people, one full of mist and one with a hand on his head with a bow. Hey, what are you doing with my book? I screamed without knowing. I co- Then I covered my mouth when I realized I said it. Good, you're awake. I was wondering how you got all this information, said the dude with a hand on his head. That's, that sounded like he needed water really bad. What happens if I don't tell you? Are you going to kill me? I spat out. No. I have... I want you to join. You know how to get information easily. As a kid, it would be. If you join at the end of our plan, you can have everything you want, he said, a little mad like some of it he didn't like. But I'm quirkless. I can't do it. So many people have said that I'm weak and won't make it at all. Though there is one person... That will protect me and thinks I can be a hero. I said, then the TV in the room started to talk. What if I gave you a quirk and show them wrong and have that one person all to yourself? The TV said. Are you lying? I asked. No, but you can only have it if you join us to take down the heroes. The TV continued. Then yes, I will do what I. it takes to make the people see that heroes are the problem. And that day forward, I became a villain. Your POV. I got home to see my mom watching TV to see that Katsuki got attack, into a villain attack. I hope he's okay. He's such a, a polite boy here. She, she said, not knowing what he does every, everywhere else. I started to text him to make sure he was okay, which he was. I started to get ready for bed, getting in my PJs, going to eat downstairs, and then c- came back to my room, full and tired. I put my phone on the charger, went to bed as I felt someone watching me, and I shut my eyes and fell asleep. Chapter 1, Part 1 out of 4.